Hello there! So, this Lacanon is a new weapon in Fallout 76, and today we're gonna get through mods to see what's better for free aim and auto aim as well. Do some tests. Uh, I really hope Beth will not screw me over with a fresh update. If they change something tomorrow, I will need to start over. <laughs> and I have waited a lot before making this video just because of possible changes. Well, if my video is helpful, please give me a like for algorithm and uh, comment whatever you want. Okie dokie, let's start with level 50 Tesla Cannon that has 375 damage. And first we have receivers. We have Solid State Series, Spark Gap Series and Wave Oscillator. In total 9 mods, uh, just in case I already have Heavy Gunner Combo and Bloody Mess. There is no need to start with base number, cause you can see all changes. For vast gameplay, it's better to go with Solid State 3 because of AP cost. Uh, well, in case of vast crit build, we can see if Spark Gap would be ok. AP cost is high, but we can reduce it with legendary mods, right? Free aimers can try the third series, uh, but fire rate is lower in case of uh, the third option. So I don't know if it is a good idea. Ah, wait, now I'm thinking. <laughs> Let's get back to solid state series. Look, AP cost is fine in case of the second option, but we have no reload speed penalty. And we have 10 damage difference. Well, first we need to see the difference between actual reload speed. I guess it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Let's check barrels. Uh, look, I'd still go with higher damage, cause uh, less ammo is used better in my book. But Nikola Series 2 has better DPS here. Hmm. Well, it depends on damage resistance we deal against, right? For Vats Creed, I'd go with Nikola 2. For Free Aim, I'd go with Edison 2. Cause I'm not sure if I just gonna spam energy balls anyways. And in case of Nikola 2, we gonna spam crits for sure. Okie dokie. Ammo capacity. Ah wait, ammo capacity. <laughs> this reload speed starts bothering me a little bit, but I'd still go with huge capacity. In my book, it doesn't matter if you need to reload slower when you can reload less frequently, <laughs> right? AP cost is another issue here, but with doubled magazine or wherever amps are stored, we can pay this price. Uh, otherwise, just go with quad ammo capacity and uh, capacity. Speaking of scopes, well, let's go with night vision scope for auto aim gameplay, because why not? For free aim, hmm, actually it doesn't matter that much. Some of us don't even need ugly crosshair. ACDC Tesla Cannon! Now this is interesting. So, in case of AC we get chain chain effect. In case of DC we have additional armor penetration, 20%, not bad at all. Both are great to use, but I will go with direct heat or direct current, sorry, because my weapon gonna be explosive. So let's figure out reload speed and see if we even should care about any changes we get from mods. The difference is around half of a second. Hmm. I skip lock and load per can the use swift legendary modification. The last one is good for free aim, but not for vast gameplay. Lock and load is kinda good for heavies in general, but maybe not necessary here at all. Okie dokie. Speaking of base damage, well, it depends on modifications we are using, so higher the number, the stronger critical hit. Basically, the combo of receiver, barrel and muzzle is a damage multiplier. And I hope Beth will keep it this way. Here are my perks. Uh, I don't use tenderizer here, because for the first test I just want to compare receivers. I mean, for fast gameplay. But I definitely go with explosive version. Actually, anti-armor explosive to exclude damage resistance. 
from the equation. Then I have a full stack of scanners, legendary modification, as you can see, 25%. I mean, AP cost of VATS attacks reduced by 25%. I go with 34 luck to make every second shot critical. To make it so, I have 20 base luck, 10 luck from armor, 2 luck from herd mentality mutation, and 2 from bubble head. Basically, what we want to compare is the sum of hits, normal shot and crit. If you make every second shot critical, Great fire rate makes a lot of sense against tough enemies. The cost of shot is 5 fusion cells, and in total we can make 40 of them, right? Per uh, ambassador. <laughs> ah, wait, 120 divided by 5 uh, is 24, sorry, 24, not 40. I'd say quad version is not necessary here, so go with anti armor or bloody. And if you go bloody, maybe it's even better to try Edison series with not that epic fire rate, but more damage per shot. And here you have it. Spark gap is better if you deal every second shot critical, solid state if every third shot, and so on. Personally, I'd rather go with solid state, so I don't care about how lucky I am. Less AP cost, yeah, everything feels just great with solid state. Obviously, you can try other configurations, as for me, explosive is the best option here, pinpointers deals additional damage to links, 50% more rich, and for Bethesda, head is the limbiest limb. Anyhow, here you have it, spark up is the winner. But solid state is better. <laughs> Speaking of mini battle between Nicola and Edison, DPS here is way higher in the first case. I'd go with Edison only if I can one shot mobs, and we're gonna check this out, of course. But before that, let's ask Papi's opinion about damage per second importance. <laughs> By the way, I changed a little bit my perk loadout, cause it will be more important later. Hello, hello, puppy hulk! Dealing two shots instead of one is way better, especially if we miss and uh, can do crits. So, DPS is important. Alternatively, we can try alternate current muzzle, just to see how chain chain is working. Mini hulks, mini hulks, mini hulks. I have a chain for you. Let's try. And, uh, hmm, not impressed. And uh, what about you, my dude? Dead? Someone else is dead? No, no one is dead. Come on. I have two targets here, right? Okay. And. Hey, come on, Bethesda. Now it's time for fun. I'm using Solid State Edison series with direct current muzzle, and I don't one shot enemies, but I can damage them through walls. And it's kinda epic. Look at this. Hey, come on. Let's try again. And yeah, now yes. Kaboom. Oh, almost everyone is dead. Almost. So, basically you can go with Edison as well, and deal a, whole, a lot of damage through walls. Sad news, you can heal yourself as well, cause the damage output is kinda crazy. Super duper uh, crazy. Well, even the game has crashed. For free aim, let's try encirclers. I know, it's been nerfed, but okay. And here I want to try this wave oscillator triple resonant. Let's go boom at full potential. Though fire rate sucks, but at least we can make it reload faster. Yay! And speaking of armor, let's try rangers, cause why not? 25% more damage on full stack. Ladies and gents, I present your Cyber Launcher 2105. Please don't fail. Please. Hey, come on! <clears throat> Let's try again. Hey, I'm aiming. Hey, what's the actual F? Let's try like this. Oh, no, yes. I think our skin copy pasted Hellstorm has potential. Press shot in air. Uh, almost. And now, hey, hatchet. You didn't see that. And now you did. I gotta go bloody here. I'm sorry. And nerdy. Maybe a little bit bubble heady. Explosive Assassin is my second name. 1k 414 okay. damage. Cut. 
smile on, keep the energy up. It's time to cook the wasteland. So, my final thoughts on Tesla Cannon. The weapon is not bad at all. I'd reduce self damage cause it's fucking unbelievable even in power armor. The damage from explosions through walls makes it super fun to use. Maybe not for those who farm experience during a radiation rumble, cause if someone can kill ghouls through walls, it will be quite annoying. Well, nuka grenades have a similar effect, right? But they are not used that extensively. What I want to see personally is a hidden damage buff, or maybe additional armor penetration for those who don't use this weapon in VATS. This Marluk shit with lowering AP cost for heavies is fun and everything, but super disrespectful for gamers like me. Will I stop crying about auto aim being meta in F476? Never. What stupidity should be optional, but not the only correct way to play this game. Big thank you for watching, I will see you later, bye bye bye, bye bye.